All right, we're watching Ella above the water on her breaststroke. The one thing we can see here is we're a little shallow in that water. We'd like to see a little bit deeper recovery underwater, okay? You can kind of see pretty quickly that your head is not really under the water as you're fully extended. Okay, those legs are a little bit wide there, but you got to make sure that head gets a little deeper. And then right here, we kind of took one extra stroke. If you had taken this last stroke here, okay, right here when your legs are finishing, you kind of see you started your pull a little bit earlier, right before your legs finished. If you kept your arms together, you could have stretched in that wall and made that turn a little bit better. But instead what you do is you do that extra stroke here, and that was really a late breath. We do that extra stroke here, and you touch the wall, and here your legs are apart. And you can see now that your hands are above the gutter. So whereas the underwater looked like your hands were a little more flat in that wall, which is a good turn, here it looks like you're grabbing above the water. So let's really make sure we're thinking about more not grabbing the gutter as much as touching that wall and then transitioning into a fast turn. As you come off that wall, you want to make sure that your eyes are looking down at that hand here. Instead, you're looking over here towards the diving board. Make sure you really think about where that head position is at all times. Good job of sliding that hand behind the ear. Good job of sliding into a nice tight streamline. Right here, that's excellent. One, 1,000. So again, it goes back to what we talked about earlier. We want to hold that streamline off that underwater pull-off for a good three seconds. That was only a second, so you really didn't get a chance to get underwater. You can kind of tell that you're really shallow there. And again, a little bit further back. As you do that pull, you can see your hands are out here, your sides, not so much on your thighs. Get those hands a little bit more on those thighs, okay? Slide up, and you never really did a breaststroke kick to push up. You kind of did your kick and started your stroke right away. Do the underwater kick, reach forward, stretch forward, and then make sure that your breaststroke is nice and long. As we're coming into the wall again here, and you can just kind of see a little bit more how shallow that head is. Work on making sure you're really rolling those shoulders and driving those hands forward and finishing that stroke all the way through. The other thing is we want to make sure that head gets up just a little bit earlier, okay? Your head's coming up a little late on that breaststroke at times. You always want to make sure you're breathing early. Breaststroke looks so good. Just a couple little tweaks here and there, and it's going to be awesome. Great job, Ella.